Hi guys, this is the Programming TV and I'm just going to show you a really simple way to put YouTube videos into your iOS apps using Xcode. So let's go ahead and open Xcode. This is going to be a really short video. It probably won't even take three minutes. Okay, so single view application. I'm just going to call it YouTube video. And I'm going to make it for the iPad. I'll tell you why in a second. You can also use this technique on the iPod and on the iPhone I mean. I'm just going to be doing it on the iPad because the width of the iPad, I mean the width of the iPod and iPhone, it's so small that even though even though we could resize the width of the video, it will still, the, the title of the video will still get crunched and, you know, it will look bad. You can still do it and it will still work, but it's just the title doesn't look good. So let's go ahead, let's go to our main storyboard and let's drag a, let's drag a UI web view which should be right here. So just drag it. Okay. Make sure you make sure your um, view has a view controller. If you don't do that, then you can write code for the view. And that means you're not gonna be able to follow the tutorial. You can do that by just dragging a new view or using the view you already have. Click on this yellow thing and then here go to our you know that little car right here. Let me zoom in. There you go. That car. And then, on, and then on custom class, just write the file. Now, if you don't have a file, what you can do is just right click on any folder, right click and then new file. And that's how you make it. So, new file, and then objective C, and that's it. And you just keep following the thing. Okay, so I have a view controller file, which is called view controller. Let's open that up with our editor. Let's create an IP outlet, and we're gonna call it video. That's it. Now let's go to our view controller dot h. I mean view controller dot m. And under super view did load, we're just gonna write three lines of code. I'm just gonna write. I'm just gonna create an NS string, and we're gonna call it code. And that's gonna be equals to our embed code from the YouTube. And then just when you click on the video, go to share, and then embed, and copy that up. Copy the whole thing. Now let's go back to Xcode and paste in between the in between the quotation marks. Now as you can see, the code has some quotation marks and there's like an error right here. So this error is saying that because like um you know computers are dumb. And so they're just gonna think, okay, this is the first quotation mark, so this is where it starts, and um and it keeps reading, reading, reading until it gets here and it's just another quotation mark. So it's gonna think this is the end. But then there's another one right here and another one right here, and there's like things in between, numbers in between, and it's like what the heck is this, right? So what we have to do is tell the computer that this quotation marks, it's not it doesn't mean that's the end. It's just part of the embed code from our video. So to do that, just put a backslash, I believe it's a backslash or front oh I don't know. I don't I don't know yet. Probably a front slash. I don't know. You know what I mean. It's like right above enter. Just keep putting that between, actually put, keep putting it before the quotation marks. Oops. Make sure you do not delete a number, just like I did. Okay. Once you do that, you see you're not going to get an error. You're just going to get this little thing saying, uh, you see what it says? Unusual variable code. Okay, I mean, you unused. So yeah, don't worry about it. Let me. I made it free. Okay, so right under that line of code, get out of here. Come on, get out. Okay, so I have to go back to the file. Okay, right under what we just did, we're just gonna write two open braces, then self, and then the name of our UI web view, which is for me is video, and then close one of the braces and then write load html code I mean html string and then you just want to write code and here for base url just write noun and then close close again and that's it and put a semicolon at the end so all of that should work now here on width since 640 is really small for an ipad we're just gonna change that number into 756 or you can change it um, 
or you can like go to the internet and search for them. If you're using an iPhone, just go to the internet and search for the width and width of an iPhone and just paste it right here. Oh, and also you can do the same thing with the height right here. I'm just gonna keep it with the width. You know, the height is pretty good. Just run it. Let me hide this. You guys can see the, the iPad better. By the way, the code will be on the description, okay? And there you go. It works. So I just click on that. You see, the title is complete. It looks nice on the iPod. And I mean, on the iPhone and iPod Touch, it would not be on. It would not be like that. This this whole letter will be like on top of this ones. Um, you can also do it full screen. Let's skip. Oops. Let me see this. There you go, everything works. And now, so at the end of the video, you get to do this. So, yes, yeah, probably somebody else's video. Yeah, you quit this. So, there you go, that's that's what you do. So, yeah, guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. The code will be on the description. If you don't feel like if you don't feel like following for the whole tutorial, just go ahead. The code will be on the description. I should have said that at the beginning, but oh well. Yeah, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, I'll be making more videos, and see you in the next video.